My name's Ed Druitt. I've kind of got two hats today. I work as the learning officer for the University of Bristol, enabling postgraduate students to go into schools and to events, enable people to learn more about science. But I'm also a freelance naturalist, engaging people in the natural world, and work also as a volunteer. Now, in terms of today, with the Green Volunteering Bristol Day, what is the environment getting out of this? What's, what's the green parts of this West Country getting out of it? Well, I think actually from seeing the mix of people here and people networking and talking, there's a great opportunity really of people working together, of people just getting an idea of the bigger picture of who's who and how everyone kind of networks and joins in with each other. And I think long term that means that people who are wanting to volunteer in the environment, conservation or wildlife related issues really, it means that they are more likely to be better placed in the right places to not only get what they want out of being involved with green issues, but it also means that the agencies that are represented here are also going to get the best volunteers who want to do those things that they are offering. So I think in terms of the environment it's got to be a good thing, Bristol is a very joined up place anyway and an event like this helps to make sure that it's even more joined up. Something that I'm really passionate about also is transferable skills and I think that being here with these range of agencies means also that we can be better placed to enable volunteers to do all sorts of different things in different ways for us to be able to share ideas which in turn means that volunteers are going to be actually developing skills in all sorts of different places and perhaps also almost like sharing themselves between these different organisations. So I think all in all it's going to be a positive thing that hopefully can build year on year.